right, we're checking out the only game. We're trying to find out which car is the best at rescuing. Does little to rescue my sanity. It's GTA. Which vehicle is better at rescuing drowned cars? Ah, yes. Normally in GTA, all we do is end up murdering people. But today, we're going to help the public. Probably in a violent fashion. So there's four different events. Each event is worth one point. And then the vehicle that manages to get the most amount of points has clearly the highest pain tolerance for vehicular torture. Out of all of the vehicles I have been given, you would expect the tow truck <laughs> to be somewhat decent at helping drowned vehicles. Although I guess it kind of depends on what, how deep is the water that the vehicle drowned in. Oh, you put a like an entire scene together here. Push or pull a stranded car to shore. All right, so I guess you go into the script circle and then there is a circle of red death surrounding the people that are supposed to get helped. I wonder what that is there for. I don't want to go take a look. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, well, the tow truck still works in the water. All right, let us start the script and begin. I said begin. Are we good? Oh, okay. Oh, the circle turns green. Okay, so now it's easier to get through that area and save the people. Okay, I got it. So now we'll just kind of maneuver this thing over here. Kill that lady. Sorry, ma'am. She's fine. I mean, she's been stuck here for the better part of six hours in the Florida sun and getting melanoma. Go ahead. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Okay. Hi. Hey, this is exactly what physics looks like. What in God's name just happened? Uh, well, this is a problem because, oh, God. Well, luckily, the water kind of broke my fall. Ah! I love how the vehicle wasn't going to tip over until I was under it. Okay, I have no idea what happened. Let's try that again. So, obviously, I've learned at this point that this thing is timed. Out of the way, boat. No one loves you. This thing is timed. So, you need to get up here, hook the car up real fast. Otherwise, you're going to get vomited into the stratosphere. Get on the hook. For God's sakes, get on the hook. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're rolling. Oh, we're rolling now. I got it. Oh, the barrier. I didn't know I had this much time. I had quite a bit of time, honestly. And the tow truck is... No! Come on, baby. Come on. I didn't realize that I would have this kind of trouble trying to drag this thing out of the water. Is it possible to save a vehicle out of the water with a tow truck? It's almost like it's stuck. Well, a tow truck that can't tow isn't really a tow truck. It's just, just a sad truck. Well, that was disappointing. You know what? Why not? This thing has failed everything I have thrown at it and thus it is time to get up save me <laughs> like the people are yelling now or the vehicle is yelling that because I feel like it's the vehicle now I probably should have thought about this this thing really doesn't it can't hook anything up so I'm basically just trying to shove the vehicle into the uh well, as long as I beat the god sorry as long as I beat the circle that pops up then we'll be fine which I don't think I'm going to be able to do at all <gasps> Ye what how is this thing great dancing on top of the circle what is going on with this barrier sherp I swear to god if you have forsaken me again oh god the only thing this thing is good at is ramping the car so once again, what the? Oh, all right. Uh, uh, sure. What I was trying to say is once again, the Sherp lets me down. So you know what? We're going to use a scoop. Oh, yeah. Speed. Agility. This thing has tank treads and a snow plow in the front. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is hot. Here we go. This is the new hotness. Just got to line it up. Get that out of there. No one wants the, uh, Oh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A few moments later. Oh. Uh, I drowned. Also, I killed everyone inside of the vehicle. So, I don't know if that's technically a, a rescue. Like, I would rescue the car, but all the people would be dead. All right, the tow truck can't throw. The Sherp sucks at everything. So, we're going to try the Wastelander. And sadly, the tank was doing great. Up until the point where it's so low to the ground, it just drowns. All right, Wastelander, time for you to show that you're not only meant to kill people, you're also meant to save them out of the way. Also, the Wastelander is one of those vehicles where it's so ridiculous that it's totally possible I could just drive over the weird barrier that he's made. We are well out of the barrier area, though, and look at that. The SUV is looking fantastic. 
The people inside probably have broken spinal columns. But, uh, you know, the vehicle still has all of its doors, so that's something. So we are close. Just kind of line this up. I assume something happens if you get this car into the circle. Or at least I'm going to hope it does. I'm trying really hard to get it nice and straight so that we can yeet us it. Come on. And there we go. Do I win? Oh, oh, I do win. Oh, righty. One point for the Wastelander. Nice. Say hello to which car is better at escorting a rescue mission. All right, so we have the ambulance, and then the patient's going to get inside. For whatever reason, there is just a massive line of people that all want to murder the patient. I'm going to fall to my death now. We are going to use the tank for this. Because I have a feeling I'm about to tank some actual, like, bullets and stuff. Oh, we have the boost and everything, too, on this thing. All right, let's... Oh, wow, okay. All right. So, the ambulance goes, and then... What do I have to do? Okay, so stop this guy from shooting the ambulance. The ambulance... Okay, the ambulance just got immediately annihilated, and so did I. What's with the ATV? <laughs> That guy just got blown into the stratosphere. Okay, I vastly underestimated just how much damage was going to come into the direction of the ambulance. So you have to... I was going to say, you have to tank a rocket, and I didn't. All right, so how much other stuff goes on? So then we have the, the Mad Max group of, uh, you know, motorcyclists over here. A couple of guys on the pallets kind of shooting their guns. And we have a few more RPG dudes. I can almost reach them with the jump function. Come to think of it, I don't know if I could take the damage that I need to be able to take with this thing. The cool part is, is that if I get behind the, uh... God, it's so low to the ground, I can't intercept the rocket. It, oh, it's true. He does rocket directly over my vehicle. Like, it never hits me. I'm gonna try this one more time. I have an idea. So what I'm gonna try to do... Okay, there we go. If I hydraulic the front, I can intercept the rocket. So that's good. The problem is this is smoking right now. Like, there is not a lot left of this tank. So we can get through these guys. There we go. Strawberry syrup laying all over the place. How's our ambulance doing? Still going. It's getting shot a lot. Stop shooting the ambulance. You're trying to save lives, man. What's wrong with you? Your tax dollars are paying for this, okay? Oh, no, oh, that screwed that up. I know that one dude was like, tax dollars. Joke's on you, I don't pay my taxes. Your taxes pay me. Which is true, because I think this is all prisoner people. Also, I don't know if you saw, but the ambulance is dragging a guy in the wheel well. <laughs> the dude is stuck inside of the ambulance wheel well. I'm trying to get rid of all of you guys so they don't kill the ambulance. There we go. Just run him over, man. Yeah, you got an ambulance, you can do it. So then smush this guy. Uh... The ambulance is still driving. Well, the ambulance... Oh, no, the ambulance is still driving. Hold on. It is not driving anymore. So the ambulance could take a rocket or two. All right, last try for this thing. We're going to need to see if we could do something else because it just, it just can't... It's not big enough, and I constantly have to jump this thing around everywhere. I need something with a lot more elevation to absorb the hits. The sad part is there's even more for us to get past. Like, I'm just trying to get past these... I have to kill these guys because if I don't, they don't stop shooting. I haven't even been able to get past these RPG guys. If I throw them off, that works pretty good. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I think our ambulance is about to get massacred right now. And yeah, today's the day. I wanted a tall car with a lot of armor on it. Here we go. Well, I say armor. It's not so much armor as it is like just the sheet plate. <laughs> like I'm not really, wow. Uh, holy God. Oh, this thing can tank a shot. I mean, it will blow up. The big thing is it, it just flies out into the... I'm still driving. Wow. So real quick, I need to mention, I had no idea how allergic wooden pallets are to this thing. Watch this. It doesn't even stop when it hits the pallets. It just blows right through it. The problem is every time it gets hit by a rocket, it gets catapulted into the air. It can eat the rocket shots, though, pretty good. Like, we got rocketed twice, but then the uh, ATV shoved our, our ambulance off of the course. I eat rockets for breakfast. The only thing that the rockets do is kind of give me explosive diarrhea. This thing is very flammable. Do you know that? Yeah, look at the all the pallets just evaporate the second this thing touches them. As I get spun out for the millionth time by the rockets, um... 
You know, it performed admirably. I would say it performed better than I had expected, but it still ended up letting me down. It's like getting a B minus. All right. We're going to pick what makes sense. We're doing the insurgent. I don't know how many rockets this thing can tank, but I know it's quite a few. So how does it do against? Okay. It's not too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nothing. I love it. It's like a massage. Come on. Hit me again with it. Uh, it's good for the skin. Okay. It's like beta carotene. Here we go. This is looking good so far. We are we are murdering all of the people. I need to block this rocket, which is gonna come in from the side. Nice block. Then I need to block. Oh, yeah! All right, block the second rocket, and then there's a third rocket from straight on. So a lot of this is gonna be just like muscle memory. It's almost like DDR, but with rocket launchers. And it looks like I can tank right about five rockets. Through the pallet, no big deal. Block the rocket. Oh, well, I thought I had blocked the rocket. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting the timing down on this. Okay, stop the gunshots. Murder the guy. Block with the rocket. Murder the guy. I don't, I know everything seems to be murder the guy. That's always the second kind of uh, step in doing anything. Oh man! I will say the drivers of the ambulance have no fear. The fact that they just keep driving this guy to the hospital, despite getting shot at, getting rockets lobbed at them, getting run off the road by ATVs and, and motocross motorcycles. I mean, it's just wild. Stop shooting from a seated position. I don't like that. I'm gonna roll up on the side. There we go, block the rocket. Roll up on the side. Come on, block the rocket. Okay, go in front. Block the rocket. Nice. Okay. Boom. That dude just did a full flip. I love it. Okay. What else you got for me? How many other rockets are there? Uh. Oh. Okay. So now they're shooting from behind. Come on, baby. We're almost there. Go. No. I would like a number four, please. With extra blood of my enemies. Even the ambulance is becoming ruthless. If you notice, they're just running people over to death now, too. But that guy totally could have survived, but they made sure to run him over extra. Okay, nice. And then blasticate him. He needs to go run him over extra for good measure. Get rid of this guy. So now we're going to have these dudes pulling up behind us, but that's okay. We're going to tank it from the back and right up the butt. Very nice. There should be a second one coming. There it is. Now we have to go ahead of this insanity. And what else we got to do? Oh, okay. Another rocket from the front. I need to stop this guy before he reloads. He's reloading. He's aiming. Yeah. Now what? I got to the end. What do I do now? No. Oh, the road comes with the ambulance. How could you do this to me? I got all the way to the end. Do I have to be up there? Or does just the ambulance being up there make me win? Do I have to do something? I have to hit like a teleporter. Did the ambulance just explode into a million pieces? That's okay though. We know exactly what we're doing. Oh, we're running it now. Look at this. <laughs> just because I made such a bad choice, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an allegory for my entire life in GTA. Caught on the tracks and unable to get off. Tank in the shots. Murderate this guy. Big hit right there. That was good speed. No. Good. Now, let the ambulance pass. The ambulance makes the floor. It, it just appear out of nowhere because that's what ambulances do. And then the ambulance goes into the circle. Nice. Oh, the guy gets out. Okay. Do I win now? Oh, the guy disappeared. Oh, the guy turned into a teleporter. His body. Ooh, all right, cool. We got a point for the insurgent. Which vehicle is the best at rescuing stranded cars? We got a two-way tie right now. Rescue at least one ATV. Oh. Okay, so the ATVs are stranded. Not really sure what that helicopter's doing. It looks like it's dropping a boulder on people for some reason. Not sure that's what helicopters do for a living. Careful. 
Okay. Love how all the bicyclists are running or riding their bikes on their razor blades and just murdering people. Pretty typical day in GTA. All right. So to rescue one ATV, we got one minute. Oh, is it timed? I don't know. Can I move the? Can I move the rock? Uh, the rock does not move. Can I fit an ATV in the bed of the truck? The ATVs are riding on the roof. Okay, so the rock falls down, and then I'm assuming you're supposed to just with the with the people in the bed bring them to the end of this challenge. Okay, so I need something that can legitimately tow another vehicle. The tow truck it is. All right, we'll go ahead and line this on up, and uh, okay, you oh, uh, come on. Huh. I never thought about this. I don't know if I've ever tried this before. The tow truck can't tow ATVs. It won't hook up. I did not know that. Well, that kind of ruins the whole point of the tow truck, doesn't it? <laughs> I think you know what to do since you're unable to tow anyone. Let me go ahead and yeet us my way out here. All right, maybe the Wastelander can break this tie. The Wastelander has a really big bed. All right, line it up. People bloop on in. Here we go. Okay, nice. Okay, they're very, very... Oh. They just slid right off. Like, they didn't even try to stay on. I can't get them back into it once they're off. The people in the back, once they're inside the Wastelander, it's like they're sitting on just, like, melted butter. They slide all over the place. And this course takes you all through the mountains over here. And so I'm supposed to do this in a minute, but the problem is I have to keep, God, I have to keep slamming on the brakes to try and rock this dude to the front because if I don't, he slides right out every single time. The Wastelander cannot do this. So, well, the Insurgent has no way to take anyone anywhere and neither does the Sherp. We're gonna try the flatbed. Okay, I think I got on the, uh, hold on. Oh God. I was gonna say, I think I triggered the script a little bit ahead of time, but we do have one ATV. All right. So the ATV on the flatbed. Oh, it sticks way better. Oh yeah. This is way different than the uh the Wastelander. Cause now it's like it's on glue. Look at this. This is hot. Here we go. Kinda starts to maneuver a little bit over to the right, but if I think I think if I throw the butt end of this thing against the wall, yeah, I can kind of swing him back over to the left. That's as far as the Wastelander could get before anyone would slide off. So we've got a personal best now. That's good. I don't know how much time we have of our 60 seconds. Uh, this course is way longer than I thought it would be. And you go down this. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a rock slide. What's with a rock slide? Why? Ow. I mean, I guess I could go around it. There's kind of an opening over here. I love how there's just random deer running around too. I, I might be able to climb this. Well, I can't climb it if I keep getting massacred by boulders. Don't you do it. Oh, all that boulder did was murder that guy on his dirt bike. He's not getting up. Oh, never mind. He is getting up. What a guy. Well, I'm stuck. Come on, boulder. Help a brother out. Thank you. All right, we're giving this another shot. I have both ATVs right now. So we're talking full rescue. And I have an idea. <laughs> Because uh, there's no way to climb those rocks, or at least it's not, it's not, you know, reliable. Without either getting everyone in the back killed or getting myself killed. So what we're gonna do is there's a lip, and we're gonna we're gonna skate around the lip, and hope that I don't get punched in the face by bad choices. The guys in the back are like, please don't kill us, Grace. No promises. Okay. Shut your mouth. All right. We're gonna go around the corner. Yeah, there we go. No problem. I feel like I'm way over 60 seconds though. So now we have another turn off to the left. And what is this? Is that timed? Oh, is that what happens if you don't make it in the 60 seconds? The rockets just jut down out of nowhere and close off your escape route? Wow. I've got a new idea. I want to try something real quick. Yeta! Whoa! Cinematic view! I, am I gonna land on the deer? RKO out of nowhere to the deer! Alright, I can make it to the end though. I just need to have an ATV. Get ready everyone! To get rescued at the speed of imagination! They're like, your imagination is very dangerous, Gray. I know. Get ready, boys! 
Hold on, because it's a big jump. And the deer are, I wonder if the deer are spawned on purpose just for me to murder. Because they're always going across the area when I do this jump. Sticks to landing. Sun jump failed. That was an epic stunt jump. You shut your mouth. No boulders. Come on. So we're going to get as much speed as possible. As much speed as possible. Get ready front and going up. Oh, yeah. That is what every mountain climber on their ATV just wants to experience at some point. Oh, we're going to hit both deer. It's a twofer. Nope, only one deer. That, that deer's coming with me. You're coming to the end, baby. And Lulu made it through. The boulders have been bested. We saved both of the ATV personnel. And that's a point for the flatbed now. Three-way tie. Does it count? And of course they get liquefied into the teleporter. Which vehicle is the best at rescuing people? I don't know. We don't really rescue people around here. <laughs> we murder them. So we've got a point for the wastelander, a point for the rocket chomper, and a point for the flatbed. You know what? The flatbed really impressed me. Let's start with it. So what do you do? Okay. Uh, do I go into the water or am I supposed to go on the bridge? There's nothing really telling me what I'm supposed to be. Oh, okay. Well, I, I know there's a giant arrow, but I don't know what the best way to get to the arrow is. This thing could do pretty well in the water. I'm very impressed. Uh, okay. There's a random boat riding around. No big deal. To get up there, I'm going to have to probably go to the right. Oh, there's guys up there. Oh, what is happening? What? Did those guys just get nuked? <laughs> I'm pretty sure a train just fell on them. So I assume in, in a way this is timed. So I think what you're supposed to do is climb up this wall. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, and now there is a circle, a script circle. The problem is all the people I'm supposed to save are dead. Gray still plays rescue service. We're on our way. All the guys are like, no. Listen, I'm gonna rescue you so hard. It's gonna kill you. Yeah, this thing does great in the water. Wow. The flatbed is no joke in the water. Look at this thing just skip through it. Okay, off to the side. We're going to roll the edge over here. Now, we do have to cross this lip kind of right before the waterfall. Uh, I don't know how deep this is. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. We got 30 seconds. Oh, no. Oh, I was there to see it this time. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over here, too. Save at least three civilians. So we got a problem. The flatbed is not fast enough to get there. And the insurgent doesn't have a place to put people to rescue them. Which means we've got to try with the Wastelander and hope that this works. Now, the Wastelander isn't particularly fast. But it climbs over all of the obstacles very, very easy. Like, getting caught on this mountain, no big deal. Look at that. I just need to get there before the train falls. The other issue is you need something tall enough to... Oh, okay. So they teleport into the area every once in a while. So get over here. They should teleport in. Uh... <laughs> the good part... Yeah, all right. The good part is I only need to save one dude. Well, two guys, I guess, technically. Because one guy is inside uh, riding shotgun. So only two guys need to survive. I just lost all of them. So once you get everyone in, then there's arrows telling you where to go in order to save these guys. So you have to jump the little rapids, go down here into the water, and then eventually there's an area to drop dudes off at. Jump down. No big deal. Go over the waterfall area. Pick up the guys. I said pick up the guys. Oh! Uh, are they gonna get- Yeah, they got back up! <laughs> Oh no, they all flew out of the back. All right, this is a pretty good run so far. They get into the truck, big jump. I gotta level this thing off when we hit the ground. No, 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 stand, 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 stand. Come on, come on, come on, we got 30 seconds. The big thing I found, oh my God, I almost got run off the river by a boat. The big thing I found is if they stand, they stay on the back. If they fall and they're sliding on their butts, they just kind of careen off. Nice. No, oh, we lost the dude, but it's fine. Because we got three survivors! Oh my god! <laughs> Just barely. Was that enough flesh for you, board? Oh! 
We got a teleporter. Hit the teleporter. That means that we did have enough blood to sacrifice to the blood god, so we have a winner! Well, I rescued people, and I kind of wished I hadn't. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.